Hello everyone, welcome to the Codeverse. In this video, we will learn about what is classes and objects in a Java with the real life example. So let's see, what is class? Class is a collection of functions and variables. Let's understand it with the help of real life example. Consider, we have to create a program which will store the data of a student like their name, date of birth and college name. So, for achieving this, we will create a class with the name student. As I said, class is a collection of variables and functions. So, variable in class represent the properties of a class. Now, for class student, we will have the variables or properties like name, college name and date of birth. Now, we have to define the constructor for setting the values of these variables. Constructor is used to initialize the variables of a class. Constructor name is same as a class name, but it doesn't have the return type. We will see the constructor in detail in separate video. Now, we will add some function to get the values of a variable. Now, our class is ready. Now, you can see class is not actual student, but it is just a data structure which will store the data of a student. Class is a logical entity, but object is an actual entity. Now, consider we have to store the data of a student Bob. Then we will create an object of a class student with the name Bob in our main method. We will use new keyword for creating the new objects. Then we will pass name, college and date of birth to the constructor. You can see the syntax on screen. If you want to know college of a Bob, then we will just use object name dot get college function. In our case, it is Bob dot get college function. Similarly, you can access other variables also. Now let's understand why classes and objects are important in Java. Java is an object oriented program language. So, everything in Java is classes or object and you need classes and objects to perform operations. Many predefined classes and objects are there in Java which we can use for our own benefit. Like we want to take an input then we will use a scanner class. If we want to use maths function then we will use the maths class. Similarly, depending upon our need we can use the predefined classes in Java. That's it for today's video. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.